folks, from the tune of the music behind us and just the overall environment of all these cars around us, all the people around us, you know this is going to be a fun day. America, all over the country, is home to so many different regional cultures and once you go to a different region or state, you're going to encounter something completely different. Louisiana is no exception. Over 200 to 300 years ago, the French established their claim here in North America all over. These regions, home to the Acadians, was called Acadia. After 1763 and France lost a lot of its land in the French and Indian War, these Acadians were expelled away from their homeland. And where did they go? They went to southern Louisiana. And that's why you see the similar name of Cajun. Acadian, Cajun, similar name because that's where the Cajuns come from. These French-speaking Cajun peoples formed an amazing legacy on this region's history. And so today, we have come to the Bro Bridge Crawfish Festival to celebrate all things Cajun. You're going to hear music as you can hear. We're going to be tasting lots of Cajun food, crawfish included. This is the Crawfish Festival. We're going to have a great time here. So let's immerse ourselves into the world of Cajun culture. Starting now, let's have a great time here at the Bro Bridge Crawfish Festival. It's called Zydeco, or Swamp Pop, some may call it. It really combines all these different elements of folk music, from the original French colonial music to the Native American music of the people living here before all the Europeans showed up. One thing that makes Zydeco music very, very unique is the instruments being played. You can hear the accordion, the fiddle. It's amazing to hear. And it's Of course, here in Brobridge at this crawfish festival, there's the usual festival attractions like we saw at the Greenwich County Festival last August. The traditional fair food, carnival games, rides, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in the authentic Cajun Louisiana experience. Everything because the music's a little bit too loud to go on and elaborate about things. But what I bought first, yes, I said first, I know I'm gonna buy more, is a boudin. I didn't know what a boudin was, I took a little bit of a risk. Looks like a sausage filled with, well, I ordered shrimp and there's seemingly rice on it. So th this is a big thing just to start it off. Let's see how it tastes. It's not bad at all. It's actually kind of spicy. I love it. Yeah, there's just a bunch of rice in it. Anyway, up for round two. Hi, can I get a crawfish burrito? Just one? Just one. Back to the usual spot we are. Maybe. Not too sure. But I promised myself at the beginning of coming to this Bro Bridge Crawfish Festival that I would have to get something with crawfish in it. I don't think I've ever tried crawfish before, but 
This is what the coverage project is for, new experiences and adventures. So here's what I have. Yeah, that's a crawfish burrito. It's an interesting combination, but I'm in favor of it. We should try it. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. What a cool combination of something like a burrito wrapping a crawfish. It's got that classic seafood flavor, but there's something about the crawfish that makes it, I don't know, taste a little sweeter. start handing out the trays. One tray per person, right in front of you. The record is Angelique. 55, 55 and three quarters pounds in 45 minutes. She said 55 and three quarter pounds. Start. We have any train changes yet? One more, another one, another one. And I bet you, number 20 from Pennsylvania, it looks like number two is getting ready for a train change. So me, Alex. Number two has consumed 25 pounds. That was a crawfish eating competition. And oh my, was that incredible to watch. I don't think we've ever seen a food eating competition here yet on the coverage project. So I guess it just goes to show you all, and I, that when you or I feel full with the big meal that you or I have, well, there are people who can eat 30 plus pounds of food. It's incredible. Is crawfish really that important to Bro Bridge and the surrounding Cajun country? Well, my answer to you is yes, of course. Why would they make such a big deal at this festival of one tiny little fish? Is it a fish? Is it a crustacean? Seafood, whatever. But yeah, it is that important that they would have a festival dedicated to this. This is Cajun culture at its finest. Yeah, once again, if you didn't see the Greenwich Festival in New York, uh, kind of a repeat of that when I see such a sight. With all the junk in our stomach right now, yeah, this is a no-go. You know, we should consider it a favor from us to them that, you know, if we were up on that ride, I don't want some poor fellow to be thrown up on by me. So, there you go. There's Carnival Rise, there's a lot of stuff, but we're gonna end it off here in this part of the park. So it seems like we've done quite a lot here today at the Bro Bridge Crawfish Festival. It really seemed like the community here was thriving. They hadn't had a festival like this in about two years, so on a return, it just seemed so lively. Tons of crowds, but maybe sometimes crowds are a good thing, because then you see the community that does show up. And in true American culture, people all around the country, they love festivals like these. People who came to this festival not only came from the US, but they came internationally from places like France, England, Spain, Germany, Canada, Mexico, Dominican Republic even, I heard. So with such a lively group of people, it only makes sense that they're gonna have the time of their lives here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say goodbye to you all until next time. And then we're gonna listen to the bands that are playing Cajun music because, oh, the Zydeco rhythms and melodies really are a true representation about just having fun, having a good time, relaxing. So with that said, enjoying our long grand day here at the Bro Bridge Crawfish Festival in Bro Bridge, Louisiana. More travels to come. I will see you at the next location. Or shall I say, au revoir.